Now, 5 o'clock on this Sunday. Thank you for being here. I'm Mark Stewart. We begin at a King Supers grocery store turned crime scene. A man is found inside the store with a gunshot wound. A suspect caught just a few miles away. And tonight, witnesses are talking to Denver 7's Amanda Del Castillo about how it all went down. Heard five or six loud shots from one aisle over in the parking lot. Shots fired at this Green Valley Ranch King Supers. A man named Jeffrey says he was at his truck when he saw a man packing more than just groceries. I at first thought it was somebody, a shopper who was scared running past me in the parking lot until I realized he still had the gun in his hand. A bullet from that gun hitting a man who was later taken to the hospital. Anytime we have a gunshot wound, we consider it to be serious bodily injury. A short time later and four miles west, the suspected shooter was spotted. And when the officer attempted to contact the vehicle, a black male matching the sus suspect description jumped out of the vehicle and fled into the neighborhood where we are now. In Jesus Orozco's neighborhood, Jesus was home with his kids when he heard someone at his front door. He just knocking and knocking real hard. The man had asked to use Jesus's phone. I came to the door and answered it. And he was like, hey, can I use your phone? I was like, not right now. I have my phone is dead. He's just left real mad. He says the man had an aggressive demeanor. Then came much more activity around Jesus's home. I just saw him around here with the dogs and the rifles and everything. The likely suspect was arrested miles from this King Super shooting scene. You hear about this stuff all over the, all over the country. So I just happened to be. You know, I happen to be here when one of them happened. In Green Valley Ranch, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, Denver 7. 